Hello everyone, welcome again and uh, I'm going to continue that cut long studio tutorial and this tutorial we'll see how to use that for loop or if else statement in Catalan Studio. So I already created a test case and I'm going to show you how it will work. It's just login and logout activity and if you don't know how to run and how to create test case on uh, Catalan Studio you can watch the previous video and series so it will be clear to you how to use this kind of thing. So application is launching and uh, you will click on that make appointment button enter the username password click on logout and that's it and uh, if you don't want to close the browser at the end just remove this line from here and now run it again and this time browser will not close and it will perform the task and browser is open already okay Okay, browser is launch click on the activity button make appointment enter the username password login log out and that's it okay so now i want to use some for loops uh, first if you can say uh, we are going to use some for loops and there's uh, a test case like i want to execute this test case four or three times like so i can use simple for loop like a four and i equals to zero and i is less than two it means it will uh, zero one two three time it will execute zero and one two time and i plus plus and how many statement i want to enter this so like open open braces and purpose braces i want this all the statement come in this uh, every time like so i'm gonna perform this and and then uh, after two activities when it's performed the two time and then browser will go close so by UI by UI dot close browser close browser and I'm going to make a setting for this project setting and uh, inside that execution default by UI and delay time between the action one second try minutes in second in second okay one second so when it will click on the every element it will take one second to move on the next element so finally the for loop is done and i'm going to run it You can see once the browser is launched and click on the button and enter the username and now password and click on login and just click on logout again it's reloaded on the same link and it's going to click on that make appointment button enter the username and this is not a password click on login and the second time now it will go close it will close the browser there. so test case is executed successfully by this way you can use the for loop here uh, according to a requirement you can use in keyboard also similarly like we use in programming language like i want to create a, a keyword okay so package name should be like my pack and keyword name is uh, you can say login App login and here I'm going to create a keyword at the rate keyword and I'm going to create a keyword public void get login and uh, this keyword I just going to use a for loop and I'm not going to write a code again and you can say I'm going to just copy this code and I'm going to paste inside this and to save this and uh, remove the code from test case. Just remove this code from here. 
I'll just call the custom custom keyword dot my keyword right now again execute the that um, in the test case it will run the same so you can use that conditional statement for loops inside the case also and inside your test case also inside your custom keywords also if you are creating some custom keyword then you can use uh, here and if you want to use something in test case if you want to repeat or uh, um, in test case so you can use here also uh, similarly and you can use while loop and do while loop and next thing you know how to use that uh, if a statement so i'm going to show you a demo like if like i have a variable and i equals to two right and if i is not the variable i'm going to create a variable a if a equals to two in this condition now now the value of a is two but i want to execute the statement if if a equals to equals to five then this statement will execute else it will print a message on console dot print ln condition is false okay let's test this uh, in this case it should be printed the message here and the two time first time it will check a equals to five not we print a message and second time it will be like so i'm going to run this test case again and check the output output will you can see in the console box yeah, it will reload it actually it will not reload because the, the condition is false so just check the console property and you can see in the console there is a if condition is false if condition is false to time okay and similarly if I enter here two and the code is executed successfully because already it matches its condition so by this way you can use if else statement in next video i will show you how to use switch statements and uh, if you have any doubt like if you want to see the practical of while loop and do while loop you can comment me i will uh, make a video on this also and thank you so much for watching and you can see the code is successfully running and it will run two time Click on login, username, password, login. Press on logout. Again, it will run. Click on make appointment. Login. video you have seen how to use uh, for loop and if it's a statement on uh, next video I will see how to use switch a statement in Catana studio thank you so much for watching if you like channel if you like the video for more video please subscribe the channel thank you